Hey makers this is Truveen and in this episode I am going to talk about how you can create multilingual app in the Power Apps over here you can see on the screen right now i have selected hindi as a language and now let's say i'm selecting gujarati as a language it convert all my text into gujarati language similar way we can convert the language into french spanish german chinese and much more so in this episode i am going to talk about how you can create this multilingual power apps and for that i am going to use microsoft translator connector so let's get started and talk more about this thing in detail but before that if you haven't followed me on my instagram and twitter so far do follow me to start creating multilingual app in power apps the first basic step is that you need to register for your translator api service for that you need to open portal.azure.com you need to go to the resources section and you just need to search for translators so this is the cognitive translator service this translator api service is providing 2 million characters free every month so you can just register your service and it doesn't require any type of costing mechanism but in your real life business scenario always you need to go with the different pay as you go model which is defined over here the link for this pricing material is available in the description box so now let's start with the free instant of translator cognitive service and 2 million characters are enough for the demo purpose so now i'm going over here and i am going to create new translator service for that click on create select your subscription select the resource group now we need to select the region in order to work with translator api specifically in the power apps we need to select the global region make sure that you do not select any of your other region otherwise it will throw errors while connecting inside the power apps so let's select global now let's provide the name of the service i am providing here the name as language translation poc and from here pricing tier let's select 0 because 2 million characters per month are free so i'm selecting that and now let's click on review plus create and click on create this will take some moments to create this cognitive service for you so let's wait for it you can see the deployment is in progress at this moment and it has been deployed successfully now let's click on go to resources and it will show that your translator service has been successfully registered now you need to go to key and endpoint section and you will be able to see two different keys over here let's copy this key and paste it in any of your notepad i am just copying and pasting to one of my notepad now we need to head over ourselves to power apps and we need to connect our translator connector so let's see Now let's open the Power Apps and try to connect Microsoft Translator connector. Go to your data source section, click on add data and search here for translator. So here I am searching for Microsoft Translator and you can see this is one of the connector. Let's click on that and over here you need to provide the subscription key. So I already copied the subscription key from my earlier step, so I am pasting it and clicking on connect. If you have registered your service with the global region then it will connect over here. At this time if you face any errors which means that there is a problem in the service endpoint creation. Now it's time to do the translation into your Power Apps. Now let's start the translation process. So here I have added one label called hello and now I want to translate into different languages. So I have taken one another label. I am just using the formula Microsoft Translator dot translate. Now we need to provide the text. So this is my text label one dot text. So let me just add that label one dot text. And in which language you want to convert it? So I want to convert into Hindi. So I am using the language code Hindi H I, and just complete the bracket. and let's see what it will so you can see that 
इट हैज ट्रांसलेटेड परफेक्टली हेलो मीन्स नमस्कार इन हिंदी सो इट ट्रांसलेटेड प्रॉपरली सेम थिंग लेट से आई वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट इन टू जर्मन देन आई नीड द लैंग्वेज कोड फॉर जर्मन सो आई हैव वन डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ओवर हियर विच इज प्रोवाइडिंग मी द डिफरेंट लैंग्वेज कोड सो फॉर जर्मन द कोड इज डी ई सो आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग अ कोड डी ई ओवर हियर एंड लेट सी सो यू कैन सी इट हैज कन्वर्टेड प्रॉपरली नाउ आई एम गोइंग अगेन हियर एंड आई वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट इन टू फ्रेंच सो आई विल यूज द कोड एफ आर so i'll just change this word french fr and we all good see it has converted properly same way if i want to convert into chinese language so over here the code for chinese is zh and you can see that it has converted the hello into chinese now let's implement this feature into real application so over here you can see that i have provided one drop down with the different language options and what it does it it will convert this text into different languages now for that i have created one collection on the button click so you can see that this is my collection where i have used the different language and code i have used english hindi french spanish german chinese and gujarati as a language now what i am going to do here is i am going to add this code on to my app start so whenever the app will start it will automatically create the language collection for me so you need to go to your app you need to open the on start event and you need to paste your code over here now let's apply that collection into the drop down so i take one drop down and in items i just provided that collection and that will look like this now what we want to do here is this is the text which we want to convert into the selected language so we need to select this label control we need to use a function microsoft translator dot translate and this is whole of my text and at the second parameter you need to provide drop down selected code so drp language dot selected dot code so that is my drop down id and whatever the code whatever the language i'm selecting its language code will be appear over here now let's try to run this so i am selecting hindi from here and it converted it to hindi i am converting into french and it converted to french same way for spanish german chinese and gujarati so everything has been converted perfectly so this is how we can easily convert our text into different languages and create multilingual power apps hope this video helps you and values your time if so hit thumbs up and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel and don't forget to add your comments in the comment section about this video and just provide your feedback if you love this video If you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me and don't forget to follow me on my twitter instagram and other social media handle if you are looking for any consultation this is the website let's work together and if you are interested in the short videos of power platform this is the dedicated channel for it subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well With this this is Thruvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye